we are doing the budgetary costing and the first budget that we made was which budget uh revenue revenue budget now i am going to talk about inventory budget when i talk about inventory what do you mean by inventory mass number of uh, goods sorry the number Mas of goods inventory is your goods yeah so this inventory could be the goods that you sold or it could be the goods that you have purchased or it could be the goods of your opening inventory or it could be the goods of your closing inventory they can ask you anything <clears throat> okay so you should remember one thing very clearly you know that your cost of sales is what your goods sold when i'm talking about cost of sales this is one thing that we have learned from beginning right yeah when i talk about goods sold goods sold will be what opening inventory opening inventory plus purchases plus purchases minus your closing minus the closing inventory so suppose you have to find the inventory sold you will be this using this formula are you with me yes if you want to find out your closing inventory how will you find out closing inventory means your opening plus purchases it would be your opening plus purchases yeah minus what minus the number of goods you have sold minus the number of units you have sold you can just use this formula as your base formula hmm. okay if you want to find your closing inventory your closing inventory will be your opening inventory plus your purchases minus your sold yeah you want to find out your opening inventory if you want to find out opening inventory so it will be what purchases uh minus closing yes, plus i want to keep this over here only so it yeah. will be sold yeah so it would be quantity sold minus your purchases minus your quantity purchased and then you plus your closing inventory plus your closing inventory so you know what you have to keep as your base inventory yep so all this that we have done this is for a trading concern which concern trading, trading concern. but if the same thing is for a manufacturing company instead of unit purchased units you produced it will be units produced are you with me yep instead of purchase it would be produced produced and produced okay yep so this is our worked example that we have to solve what they want from you is they have to you have asked you to prepare an inventory budget whenever they ask you to prepare an inventory budget <coughs> they are basically looking at the closing inventory which inventory they are looking at closing inventory and what is the formula for closing inventory your opening inventory plus your purchases plus purchases minus, minus the goods sold. sold okay fine come on let's see read the question please a company has prepared a sales forecast for the following four quarters of the year mm -hmm. uh the forecast sales ratio as quarter 1 has 20000 units so quarter 2 has one, quarter 2 quarter 3 and quarter 4 okay so quarter 2 has 24000 quarter 3 has 30000 and quarter 4 has uh, 16000 so you have the units sold okay yep Now the closing inventory at the end of the previous year was four thousand units. So the closing inventory for the last year was four thousand units. Okay. The company has decided to implement a policy of maintaining the end of the inventory at twenty-five percent of the following month's sales. You are asked to prepare an inventory budget. Okay, fine. So the closing inventory last year was how much? Four thousand. Four thousand. 
so if the closing inventory last year was 4000 so my opening inventory for the quarter 1 is how much uh 24 Why twenty four? Last Business. month, last year's closing inventory would become this year's opening inventory. Yeah, so it so it'll start over the quarter one, yeah. Yeah, quarter one. So last year's the closing inventory at the end of the previous year was four thousand units. Yeah. So last year's closing inventory would become this year's open this year's quarter one's opening inventory yeah so it will so become it would, how much total 24000 right yeah so this will become 24000 why 24000 yeah because quarter one ka 20000 amas quarter one start oh okay okay yeah they'll come up to only uh, 4000 but then you okay. cannot add it to quarter 1 right darling last year you closed at 4000 units yeah so when you starting this year quarter 1 it will become how much 4000 only 4000 only right what was closing last year is opening current year oh yeah it's inventory not sales okay okay are you with me yeah we have to calculate opening inventory and closing inventory are you with me yeah what will become the closing inventory of quarter 1 would become the opening inventory of quarter 2 yeah yeah are you with me yeah okay fine now what is the closing inventory of quarter 1 uh miss uh, 25% of the total sales for the whole month or uh, for the whole year read properly policy of maintaining the end of month inventory 25% of the okay, 25% of what 16000 no of what read read yeah, properly read read the... properly first read properly okay okay the company has decided to implement a policy of maintaining the end of month inventory at 25% of the following month's sales so the following month's sales in the sense is you are at which quarter quarter 1 okay you are in quarter 1 right yeah you want to find out the closing inventory of quarter 1 yeah are you with me understand and read properly they said they have a policy of maintaining the closing inventory at 25% of the following month's sales so following mm. months with means which month uh, quarter 1 <clears throat> quarter 1 uh, is the current month following month means what following month. following month means what quarter 2 quarter 2 so following month is what i am talking about closing inventory of quarter 1 i am finding so following month sales following month sales uska how much percent i need 25% 25% what is the oh. following month sales 24000 24000 so following month is that means quarter 2 yeah It is twenty four thousand. This twenty four thousand kind to how much percent? Twenty five percent. It will give you six thousand. So six thousand will become the closing inventory of quarter one. Yeah. Are you with me? Yep. What is closing inventory of quarter one becomes opening inventory of quarter two. Are you with me? Yeah. closing inventory of quarter 1 will become opening inventory of quarter 2 yep now i want closing inventory of quarter 2 so uh, 25 into 30 so following month following month is which month uh, quarter 3 3 come to 70 month sales that is 30000 into 25% okay into 25% So this will become how much? Thirty thousand. I mean seven thousand five hundred.
closing inventory of quarter two will become opening inventory of quarter four. Ah, uh, quarter three. Now closing inventory will be twenty five percent of what? Quarter four. So twenty five percent of sixteen thousand. Yeah. It will become how much? Four thousand. Quarter four opening inventory is how much? Four thousand. Do I have any information about what next year's sales? Hmm. No. No. So dash. Are you with me? Yeah. You understood? Yeah. Following month means next month. Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. Okay, fine. Now I want you to try the inventory budget of this worked example. Please don't see the solution. Try it yourself. Okay. Mm. Okay, fine. Closing inventory. You want to find out? Okay. Yeah. What is closing inventory? The amount of goods you have still left after the year. Yeah. So. Okay. So, Miss, for the calculation, I found the closing inventory for uh, January is one seven five zero. One letter. What is the formula for closing inventory? Oh, I forgot. Opening uh, plus purchases. Opening plus purchases minus goods sold. Minus sold. Okay. Yeah. Closing inventory. So, it was two thousand units for December, so it will become the opening uh, inventory for January. Okay, one minute. So you want for one minute. January. Right? One for which months? January, February, March, April. One minute. So you want for Jan, Feb, March, April. So you want your thing for January, February, March, and April. So yeah. Opening inventory. Yeah. Is there any purchases? Plus purchases. Minus, minus sold. Minus good sold, yeah. It is going so to give you your which inventory? Uh, your uh, clo closing, closing inventory. Yeah. So for December, the closing is 2000. Yeah. So, so June 2000 will be the opening. Okay. And then the purchases will be 4750. Yeah. And your good sold will be 5000. So closing and inventory would be one seven five zero. <coughs> opening inventory for one seven five zero will be the opening inventory for Feb, and then you add your purchases of four thousand five hundred, and then you sub subtract it with the sales, which is four thousand, which will give you two two five zero as your closing inventory. Then. And then the two two five zero will be your opening inventory for March. Then you subtract, uh, you add it with your purchases, which is two thousand. You subtract it with your sales, which is two thousand again, and the closing inventory will come back to two two five zero itself. Mm. And then that will be your opening inventory for April. And then you add your purchases of thousand five hundred. Then you subtract three thousand five hundred, and you will be left with two hundred fifty as your closing inventory. Very good. So this is how you completed your inventory budget. Yeah. Now let's talk about production budget. Yeah. Production budget tells you how much production you have to produce, how many goods you have to produce to meet your sale. Yeah. So you know sold is what? Opening plus production plus produ minus Opening sales. plus productions minus sales. Minus closing. So you want to find your units produced. So it would be sales minus opening. Sales minus opening plus minus plus closing. closing. So units produced. <clears throat> units produced would be the units sold. Minus the opening units plus the closing. Mm. Are you with me? 
Yeah. So come on, you have to make the production budget. For which month you have to make the production budget? For which month? March. January. You have to make the production budget for January, February. February. You have to make the production budget for Feb, March, April. March, April. Yeah, they've given you. Come on, read the question. Come on. So it's an Edward manufactures football shirts. Production takes place one month before the co corresponding sales. Yeah, understand this. To... Understand this line. Okay. He's manufacturing football shirts. Yeah. Okay? And the production is going to happen one month before the sale. That means if I sell in January, I will produce when? If mm. I sell in January, when will I produce? Production takes place one month before sales. Mm. Yeah. I sell in Jan. When will I produce? Uh, you'll produce it on Feb. No, no. One month before the corresponding sales. So you will produce it on December and you start yes. your sales on January. If I sell the goods in Feb, when will I produce? What, miss? If I am selling in February, yeah. when will I produce? January. If I am selling in March, when Feb. will I produce? Feb. Feb. So what are they telling? That the production is happening one month before the sale. Okay. Production is happening one month before the sales. One month before the sales. So whatever I am producing, I am producing it one month before the sales. Yes? Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. fine. So I am going to produce one month before the sales. What is the production budget formula? Production formula is your uh, opening. Whatever units you have sold. From that you minus opening because that was already there with you. Yeah. And you will add your closing because that is left. Yeah, my okay. close closing. Yeah, that'll be so a production. From the unit sold, you're going to minus your opening inventory and you're going to add your closing inventory. You get to know what you've produced. Yes? Yeah. Okay, fine. He plans to maintain closing inventory to meet 50% of the following month sales. That means the closing inventory will be 50% of which month sales? Next month. Please affirm Sahil. Yeah, miss. Revenue is given to you. Yeah. January, February, March, April, May. Yeah. Jan, Feb, March, April, May. Okay. You are asked to prepare the production budget for February to April. Are you with me? Yeah. So come on. Feb, March, and April. But February to April, okay. Yeah. Are you with me? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, fine. I want the production budget from February to April. How so do I get it? The 20,000 units. First you will write revenue. Yes. Then? Revenue and then you minus your opening plus closing. Revenue. Right. Hmm. 20,000? 20, 20,000, 32,000. 
and twenty eight thousand. One minute, wait. Make this from March to May. March to May. Okay. Are you with me? Yes. So March will be thirty two months the revenue. March, April, and May. Revenue for March is how much? Thirty-two, twenty-eight, and eighteen. That's Feb to March, da na? No, March to May. Kar do. Okay. Okay. Eighteen thousand. On top, I am going to make everything that I have with me, or I will make everything that I know. So I have uh, from which months do I have uh, this January to Jan, Feb, March, April, and May. Are you with me? Yeah. Okay. This is my working. Yeah. And this is my main solution. Yeah. Okay, I will do working for all the information I have. So my revenue is twenty four thousand. Twenty thousand thirty two thousand twenty. Twenty thousand thirty two thousand twenty eight thousand and eighteen thousand. Okay, minus opening plus closing. Come on, what is your closing inventory? What is your closing inventory? It'll be like fifty percent of the following month's uh, sales, so you can just calculate it. Fifty so percent like, of the following month sales. Yeah, so it'll be like fifty percent of uh, twenty thousand to get the January closing. Yeah, so fifty percent of twenty thousand is how much? Ten thousand. Ten thousand. So that will give your opening inventory as. Uh, I said we calculate all the closing. Calculate all the closing. Okay, fine. Fifty percent of thirty-two thousand is sixteen. Twenty-eight thousand is fourteen. Then nine. Sixty-nine thousand. I don't yeah. have this, so I cannot calculate closing of this. Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. Now opening inventory. For this, I cannot calculate. No, you can, Miss. You just have to. Uh, Do put I the have difference. A, what difference between the closing inventory and uh, your revenue? So it'll give you fourteen thousand. Of the next month's sale, so you need to know your uh, closing of December to have opening of Jan. But then he didn't uh, give us that information at all, right? That is what I said. I can't calculate. But Miss, oh yeah, sorry. For January you cannot. For other months you can. Yeah, for other months it will be just like this. Now closing of yeah. Jan will become opening for Feb. Yeah, so it'll just closing yeah, of just Feb just... opening for March. Closing of March opening for April. And the closing of April opening for May. Are you with me? Yeah. Now I want March, April, and May. Yeah. Yes, Miss. If I want March, April, and May, do I know the opening of March, April, and May? Uh, opening yes, closing for May no. So from opening of March, April, and May is how much? Opening of March is sixteen thousand. I don't know of that, na. So I will make it Feb to this only. I'm so sorry. Feb to April. Feb March April.
so this is feb march and april come on sales of feb is how much sales of feb is 20000 march 32000 april 28000 opening opening is 10000 hmm 16000 and 14000 and closing 16000 14000 9000 put it down yeah 16 14 9 Give me the production. Just give me one minute, okay? Sorry, one thing I want you to note over here. Hmm. Yeah. Production is going to take place how? One month. So production is going to take place. Ouch. One yeah. month before the corresponding sales. Yeah, and yeah. I am making production budget. Yeah. So if I make a production budget, I will take the revenue of the current month or the next month. Production budget. Let's say you're making it for, uh, February. March, for February. You will take into consideration of January, right? I will produce one month before the next month sales, right? Yeah. So I will produce yeah. one month before yeah. the next month sales. Yeah. So I will take sales of which month in February? Uh, find the production March. of February. Oh, sales! You'll take yeah. the sales of February itself, Miss. No. If I want to produce in February, I mean January. I sorry, sales of January. the next month. No, miss. If you want to find for February, it's for Jan. I want to know how much should I produce in Feb. Oh, okay. Yeah, then you use the March info. Yeah. So I will take the sales of which month? March. March. So yeah. I am going to produce in Feb for yeah. March. So I yeah. will take the sales of March. Yeah. So it will be sales of March because I am producing one month before. Yeah. So I will take sales of which month? If I want to know production of Feb. Yeah. I will take sales of March. Yeah. So Miss, you will just take. Uh, sales 32. if I want to produce for March. Yeah. I will take sales for. April. April. And if I want to produce for April, I will take sales of May. This is important. Yes. So the production for March would be thirty thousand. So it... the production for March would be thirty-two minus ten plus sixteen. Yeah. So minus ten. That is sixteen. Thirty-two. Yeah. Minus ten. Plus sixteen. Yeah, come up to thirty-eight thousand. So that would be March's uh production. Yeah, so I will produce in Feb thirty-eight thousand units. Okay. Okay. So for the revenue, you just don't need to pick up the revenue of that month. For next month's revenue, you have to take because what you're going to produce this month will be. For the next month revenue, this is important. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And here it is thirteen thousand. Understood. Yep. Okay. Let's uh, do this example. Uh, just try this example. You want the production budget for Feb, March, and April. Yeah. Try it out, and then let me know. Okay, when you're okay. done. Miss, 
So we but, want to make production budget, right? Yeah. Okay, fine. So production budget is revenue minus opening plus closing is equal to production. Yeah. Now we read the question. Please read the question. It has come to the attention of Ethan that some customers' orders were not met. He has discovered that 2.5% of the production of football shirts are rejected at the end of production process. He has no, decided that production... Some other people should understand from your video. Okay, sorry. Uh, so, uh, he has discovered that 2.5% of the production of football shirts are rejected at the end of production process. What does this he mean? Had, what does this uh, mean? This two point five percent of uh, the production is removed, like rejected. Means what? Production has reduced. Whatever you are producing, two point five percent are rejected. Yeah. So you need to produce two point five percent more. Yep. You see, they are saying that whatever you are producing, two point five percent of it is rejected. If 2.5 is rejected, that means you have to produce 2.5% more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, read ahead. So, uh, he has decided that the production should be increased to make up the make up for the shortfall. The current okay, production budget is to produce Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. So, you need to produce. What do you have to produce? Uh, the same additional produ uh, production. So you need to have additional production for the rejections. Yeah. How much? 2.5%. 2.5% additional production. Okay. Now you're making for Feb, March and April. Yeah. And the current production budget is already given to you. Wow. They've already it's given just... to you the current production budget. Yeah, very easy. So I will just copy it. Yep. Minus opening. Miss, but uh, the marking scheme is wrong, yeah. I don't know. Wait. Okay. Okay, fine. This production now, I have this information is given to me for additional production. Yeah. Prepare an updated production budget showing additional production to ensure that the orders are met. He had requested to you show additional production as a separate row before closing inventory and it should be labeled as additional project production reject. Okay, fine. So come on, tell me. What is it? How will you do? Miss, you basically you get the budgeted production already, right? So you just <laughs> multiply it by 2.5% and okay, we value discovered me. that 2.5% of the production are rejected at the end of the production process. Yeah. So whatever you're producing in February, 38,000. Hmm. Okay. 2.5% is rejected. That means if I am producing 100, 2.5% was rejected. Are you with me? Yeah. So, whatever I, whatever is this production that is shown over here, it represents 97.5. Are you understanding? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Okay. So, 38,000 is your production budget that is already given to you. Yeah. Okay, this is the units produced. But now yeah. you want to produce for the rejection also. So can you tell me this 38,000 represents 100, your full production, or it represents the production after rejection? What? Hmm. He wants to increase the production to make up for the shortfall. Yeah. Okay. That means if 38,000 he wants to increase to make up for the shortfall. That means he have to produce more than 38,000. So production at the end becomes 38,000 only. Yeah. Because 38,000 he needs. Yep. 
So how much more he has to produce? Two point five percent more. After the rejection, understand properly, think properly. If he will produce hundred units, two point five will be rejected, and the main production would come up to ninety seven point five. Think properly about this. If I produce hundred unit, two point five will be rejected. So the main order is ninety seven point five. Yeah, but he needs hundred to make up. So, so he needs to produce hundred. If two point five is rejected, so he will produce hundred. Two point five is rejected. So the main order is ninety seven point five. Hmm. Okay. So he actually needs only thirty eight thousand, twenty six thousand, and thirteen thousand. Yeah. But if the goods are rejected, he needs to produce more. Yep. So this main order is ninety seven point five. So if he is going to produce hundred, from that two point five will be rejected. So his main order is ninety seven point five. So how much? Should he produce so that his sellable units are thirty eight thousand? Understand. Two point five percent of it. Hundred, I will produce. Yeah. Please understand this. Two point five will be rejected. Yeah. So ninety seven point five will become my sellable units. Yes. Are you with me? Yes. So now, he wants his sellable units to be thirty-eight thousand, twenty-six thousand, and thirteen thousand. Yeah. He wants the sellable units to be thirty-eight thousand, twenty-six thousand, and whatever thirteen thousand. Yeah. So how much he should produce? Must you multiply two point five again on top of it, right? Two point five percent of how much? Thirty-eight thousand. Understand. And then you add it on top. Two point five, and ninety-seven point five. Ninety-seven point five represents thirty-eight thousand. Yeah. So how much would be two point five? Two point five of that thirty-eight thousand would be. Thirty-eight thousand into two point five divided by ninety-seven point five, so two point five would be nine seventy-four point three five. That is nine seventy-five units. Wait, where did nine seven five come from, us? Ninety-seven point five is the sellable units, right? Thirty-eight thousand represents the sellable units. So he has to produce more than the sellable units. Yeah. Okay. So ninety-seven point five represents thirty-eight thousand. So what would be the additional units that he would have to produce, or what would be the total production? I want to know how much extra he should produce. See, if yeah. he produces hundred, two point five will be rejected. And then he comes up to ninety-seven point five, which is the sellable unit. These are the units that he expects to sell. That means he has to produce this much. These are the units that he expects to sell. That means he has to produce this much. But if he produces this much, two point five will get rejected, right? Yeah. So this is the sellable units. These are the units that is going to be sold, so he mm. has to produce hundred. Yeah, got it. From that, two point five will go. Ninety-seven point five will be the units that are going to be sold. So this thirty-eight thousand represents ninety-seven point five. Yeah. So how much will be two point five? Nine seven five, miss. Nine seventy five. Yeah. Come on, thirty-eight thousand. Now twenty-six thousand represents 
97.5. So how much would be 2.5? Cross multiply. Uh, 26,000 into 2.5 divided by 97.5. 2667. Huh? 66, why 2667? 26, 26, 26, yeah, yeah 26,667. Sorry? 26,667. 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 
Uh, for Ethan Edward, each football shirt is made up of 2.5 meters of polyester mesh. The polyester... One minute, one minute. Understand the meaning of it. Can you tell me the meaning of this? Uh, the football shirt, each... Each so football shirt is uh, made of 2.5 meters of polyester. 2.5 meters, okay. Read ahead. The policy is to purchase all materials in the month prior to production. So the when cost... you want to produce, you yeah. will purchase before that? Yeah, one month prior. Okay. Cost per material is? 6.75. Okay. Using the production budget below, you are required to prepare a purchase budget for the months January to March. Yeah. So I want to make the purchase budget for which month? Purchase January? for uh, January, February, March. March. So if I want to produce in? Feb. Yeah, so you will purchase on January. Okay, for 13,000 yeah. units. 30,000 units. For 38,000 units, but the purchase budget will be in the meters. Yeah. So for 38,000 units, how many meters? Uh, 2.5 into uh, 38,000. So I will purchase 95,000 meters. Yeah. And then... It will uh, produce in March. Hmm. When will I purchase? You will purchase in Feb. How much? 26,000 into 2.5. Will I calculate or you will calculate? 65, 65, 65. If I want to produce in April, yeah. I will purchase it in? Uh, March. So this will become? Witness. 32.5. 32,500. Yes. Now into the purchase price. So it will become uh, uh, 2.5 into uh, 6.5. Why, Why don't you read? 6.75. So miss for each one is going to be... Miss, no, no, no. Uh, because uh, each football shirt is made up of 2.5 meters of polyester. We found out meters now. now. Huh? We found out meters, right? Hello. Yeah. Are you with so, me? Yeah, I am. Miss. You found out meters. Now, price per meter is how much? Price per meter is 6.75. So you will multiply with what? 2.5. You purchase the meters, na? Miss, but the units are not uh, the meters, right? The units are the each football shirt. Units are football shirt. Yeah, so each football shirt is 2.5. You 2. multiplied 5. it with meters to get the meters that you will purchase, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. To make 38,000 units, you need 695,000 meters. Oh, yeah. My bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. Price per meter is 6.75. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So, how much money you will need to purchase? You will multiply by 6.75? Multiply 5 into 90. Your understanding is very important. Yeah. 641 to fair zero. So this would be your purchases in pound. So when you are purchasing, if it is meters, you will find the purchase in meter. How many meters I need to purchase one month before production? Are you with me? Yep. Okay, fine. Come on, do this. Activity three. And then everything related to inventory budget would be over. I will wait for you. Do it. And then okay. you have to explain me.
Don't copy the marking scheme, okay? Yeah, yeah. So when we are making purchase budget, what is our main principle? Tell me that. The formula is your opening, uh, subtractive opening plus closing. Revenue. Uh, revenue minus your opening plus closing. Revenue minus opening plus closing is going to give you what? Your production. Uh, production. Okay, just give me a moment. So whatever you're going to sell, okay, one month before you produce and one month before you purchase. Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. Okay, fine. So but Ms. Anders, it's not mentioned that. No, whatever is mentioned that will, this is ideally what happens. Otherwise, okay. you do whatever is the requirement of the question. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, we will do whatever is the requirement of the question. One, following yeah. information is available for the product. You've been given five months. So, in your working, you will do for everything that is given. Month one, month two, month three, month four, and month five. You're given sales. Correct? You're given sales 400, 600, 580, 590 and 600. Are you with me? Yeah. Yeah. Now read ahead, please. Slowly, slowly, okay? Okay. Uh, the following information is available for 1.5 liters. 1.5 liters of oil is purchased for use in each unit of production of so every oil. unit of your production every unit of your production requires 1.5 liters yeah okay fine now opening inventory the opening inventory of uh, z coil is 100 units so z coil so your opening inventory for which month my uh Month one. Month one. And yeah. the closing inventory is 20% of the following months of sale. Just give me a... So opening inventory is how much? 1.100 units. Are you with me? Yep. Closing inventory is 20% of the following month sale. Yep. So 20% of 600 is how much? It'll come up to 120, Miss. 120. So, opening of month two will be? Again. No. So, closing of month one becomes opening of month two. What yeah. will be the closing of month three? 116. How much? 580 is 20%, right? Yeah. One month, come. are you sure? Yes. Yeah, miss. No, 580. Closing inventory is 20% of the following month's sales. Yeah, one month. The following six. month's sales would be 580. 580 to 20%. 116. Yep. One month, they've written 118 in the marking scheme. Yeah, miss, it's wrong. Okay. Then opening inventory will become 116. Yep. Closing inventory will become how much? Again, 590, 20%. That will come up to 118. Maximum storage capacity is 130 units. Yeah. One so, Sahil, there's a mistake in the question. Your month three sales is 680. Okay. Okay. Now read this question also. Maximum storage capacity is how much? 130. 130 units. Closing inventory is what? 116 at the moment. 20% for the next month sales. Yeah. So if it is so 20% of the next sale, so 680 into 20% is how much? 
six thirty. Yeah, six ten into one point five. Hmm. Yeah. Six sixty eight into one point five. Five ninety two into one one five. Into one point five. Eight 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 eight. Tell me eight. Eight eight eight. Okay. Now come on. Closing inventory is ten percent of following month's production. Opening inventory. Minus opening. And plus closing. Are you with me? Yeah. No, come on. Opening inventory is what? Two hundred. What? Two hundred. Yeah. Okay. So opening inventory is two hundred. Now how about closing inventory? Closing is ten percent of. Ah, uh, sorry. Yeah, ten percent of the following month's production. So ten percent. Following of month. Yeah. So ten percent of nine one five. Yeah. So it is so ninety one point five. This ninety one point five will become opening. Yes, for that. Yes. Now ten percent of one zero zero two. So it will become ten point zero two. Hundred point two. Sorry, yeah, hundred point. Hundred point two becomes opening. Yeah. Ten percent of this is eighty eight. Eighty eight point eight. Eighty eight point eight. Okay. Eighty eight point eight becomes. The next month's uh, following product. Now I want the closing of month four. Month four. Yeah, Miss Wait. One and two. This is one twenty units. Is the closing? Yeah. The production of month five is how much? Production is five. Uh, six hundred. Six hundred units. Hmm. Nine hundred as I was. Let me do it. For the day. Yeah. Kim, I need to have my month five production to get the closing over here. I need to have my month five production, so my closing would be ten percent of that. Are you with me? Yeah, miss. So if I had this, I would have the closing, but I don't have this figure, and I don't have month six sales to get the production of month five. Yeah, to get the closing yeah. of month five. So I will leave this column if you are stuck in such a situation. So come on now, you tell me the purchases. For purchases, you are going to take production minus opening. Plus closing. These three things you're going to take. Hmm. It's coming up to how much? Six thirty minus two hundred plus ninety one point five. Five twenty one point five. Right. Twenty one point five. Then nine one five minus ninety one point five plus hundred point two nine twenty three point seven one hundred and two one thousand two minus hundred point two plus eighty eight point eight eight one three nine ninety point six and this I'm leaving. Okay. Wait. Miss, I'm getting another answer. I'm getting the same. I'm on calculator. Okay. Come on again. Check one hundred and two minus. It's one hundred and two or one thousand two. Minus hundred point two. Yeah. Plus, plus eighty-eight point eight. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Nine ninety-four six. Right? The mark yeah. is wrong. Victor. Okay. Now, what yeah. is the purchase price in liters? This is the purchase in liters, right? Yeah. 
For purchases in value. But we did it in liters itself, Miss, right? Because yeah. we calculated it. Now purchase in value. How will you get? You will directly uh, subtract it from the. Multiply by zero point six. Oh, okay. You have your purchase in liters, and you want purchase in value. Hmm. So you will multiply with what? Zero point six. I'll come up to three one two point nine. Five twenty one point five. Yeah. So zero point six. It is three one two point six zero. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Three one two point nine. This is five five four point two two. So this nine ninety six point six into zero point six zero. Yeah, five nine four point three six. Okay, fine. Got it. Yeah. So this is complete with the purchase budget. We will start with the trade receivable budget.